Former IDF soldier Mozzie Pillup is the Republican nominee. She's running against former Democratic Congressman Tom Suzy, who previously re represented the district prior to Santos. Now, the race is expected to be competitive as President Biden won the district in 2020 by eight percentage points. The special election is set to take place on February 13th. Mozzie joins us now, and we're happy to have you here on National Report. Thank you so much for joining us. What made you decide to run? Hi, good morning. Thank you very much for having me. I decided to, to join uh, this, uh, this race because I believe in the American dream. Um, I came to this country as an immigrant. I was able to build my life. The same with my husband. He came from Ukraine. He went to school here. He became a doctor. Uh, that's beautiful country. I came in about 17 years ago. It's not the same country right now. There's a, a lot of uh, extreme policies out there that President Biden... Tom Swazi and the squad keep pushing on American people. And that's a big concern I have. And Washington is not doing great. And Washington needs people like me to be the voice, the new voice, fresh voice, not a typical politician, a real person, a person that care about the future of uh, my children, my grand grandchildren, and the only one who can deliver the truth and willing to fight just me, no Swazi. Swazi had the opportunity. He created the problem. To start with, now he want to go back to Congress to fix it. It doesn't make sense. And my con my district, the third congressional district, not willing to send him. Yeah. The only option is just me. And I think mm -hmm. maybe those voters are looking for truth and honesty, uh, considering that their prior representative was expelled from Congress for saying uh, misleading statements. And, and I'm saying that lightly. Um, Politico has, has taken a closer look at your voting history. Obviously, you got the GOP nomination, so we should point that out here. Um, but they have apparently uncovered public records showing you have enrolled as a Democrat since 2012. As we know, you currently hold the office as a Republican, ran on the GOP ticket for the Nassau County legislator in 2021 and 2023. Uh, can you confirm that? And for folks who might be wondering, how, how did someone who voted for Democrat now get the GOP nomination? Do you see that as a positive? A very simple. First of all, it's never been a secret, really. They're trying to make it a secret. Why? Do you think uh, people are stupid? They are not going to know. I mean, the, the chairman of the Republican Party he doesn't know that I'm registered as a, as a Democrat. He, they knew about this. They didn't care. Okay, they wanted a real person, a person who willing to fight for the right things. And they chose me to run about th three years ago. Uh, yes, I was registered as a Democrat. I was a Democrat. Guess what? The Democratic Party left me and many others. The Republican Party is the one that shares my values. The Republican Party is all about protecting the resident, okay, from uh, border uh, uh, security that President Biden and Tom was responsible for all uh, migrants coming in without nobody really checking them. And we're talking about uh, national security. We don't know if the terrorists making on the, uh, their ways here, the amount of drugs coming from uh, the borders and, and bringing migrants, you know, those people coming for better future. They're looking for the American dream. And by bringing them and, and let them uh, sleep in tent, that's unacceptable, irresponsible. I immigrated twice in my life. If the country willing to help, you have to have a plan. You cannot bring people here and just throw them in the, in the street. This is exactly what they're doing. They are not helping them and they are not helping the American people. I forget about the drugs, the amount of drugs coming in, are really risking my children, our children. Somebody has to say no to that, okay? And I'm the only one willing to do that, and there's a lot of things. Let's talk about defunding the police, all these extreme policies out there, trying to show like yeah. they care about the people. They don't care about the people. Those, those politicians care about their future. How are they gonna really elect the next ter two terms? The only way. This is the only reason why they're doing this. They don't care about the people, right. not to the minority, not to the immigrants. They just want to secure their political future. That is the truth.